Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Dr. Reddy's Laboratories in the pharmaceuticals industry. 12.3 billion market cap on 11.5 billion enterprise value. Incorporated in 1984 in India. Growth is relatively small, 2.2 billion in 2014, up to just about 3.0 billion in 2023. Return on invested capital is mid single mid double digits though. Uh, so it's in the teens. Not mid double digits. It's in the mid teens. So pretty impressive there. Gross margin is down a little bit, but operating margin is up a little bit. Let's look at that balance sheet. We see that they have uh, about 751 million in very liquid assets of cash and equivalents of short-term investments. Zero long-term debt, 136 million short-term debt. So not not a concern at all on their balance sheet. A little bit of reinvestment back to themselves, a little bit of acquisitions. Their dividend of 80 million in aggregate pays out like 25% of their five year edge free cash flow. So, use of cash, they uh, are pretty big on reinvestment, which is great at uh, mid, mid teens type returns. That can be fantastic for you as a shareholder, getting those types of returns and reinvestment. Um, a little bit on the acquisition side, so probably on an average basis, maybe just 10%, nothing too crazy. So very heavy on the reinvestment side. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to start making some assumptions here. On the revenue side, I think that 5% seems pretty reasonable to me. I think at the end of seven years, they'll probably still have a bit of growth ahead of them. Maybe put them at a 16 PE. I think that's a slight bump above the market average. And then for margins, they are very consistent. Maybe I'll do 11 and 12% with no share change. I think that uh, their shares are stay relatively you know, similar. I think the last three years they've increased the tiniest bit. But yeah, I don't think I need to incorporate that here. Dividend. Um, it's paid out roughly this amount, so I'll keep that the same. They don't have a historic, you know, they don't have a long history of just increasing it every year, so I think I'm fine keeping it as is for now. And, yeah, it just looks a little bit expensive at this price. I think I'd be waiting for the stock to fall a bit more before, you know, doing my own research and getting more attractive to it. I just don't think it's a screaming deal at this point, which is what I'm looking for. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day.